from becoming the most talked about social media app in just a matter of days. The social media platform Parler. To now inaccessible. Parler, which dubbed itself as an alternative social network for conservative voices, was booted from the app stores on both Google and Apple in wake of the siege on the Capitol. The final blow came Monday when Amazon dropped Parler from its web hosting services, essentially pulling the plug on the two-year-old venture. Critics were quick to pounce, claiming a double standard when it came to big tech and conservative viewpoints. Let's do it. How many genders are there? Infinite. Infinite? I think there are infinite genders. Yeah. There are like five, six maybe. Six? Mm -hmm. What are those six? Uh, it's like male, female, transgender, asexual. Uh, then, yeah, I'm not like familiar with the names, but I'm like pretty sure how seen like videos and everything on like different genders like here how many genders are there oh girl. it's like 72 plus or something i could not tell you you couldn't tell me could not tell you how many can you name not all 72. Uh, one of the most elite schools, colleges, universities in the world, uh, but it uh, has a rather simplistic view of anyone from the Trump administration dare entertaining getting jobs in Harvard, uh, given the fact that the biggest crime they committed was working in the Trump administration. Charlie Gasprino on this side is the sort of tweets yeah. that have been coming out from that mob about, oh, we've got to hunt down all the Trump supporters. We've got to. You're going you to have the they, list. They've got oh, yeah, the yeah. List. Exactly. Tell us about Just, that. They are now talking about AOC and lots of other people. We need to have a list of everybody who enabled Donald Trump, and we're going to have this list, and you won't be able to sit on the company board and you get a job in academia. Academia, you know, this will be the shame list. And this shows exactly how authoritarian their instincts really are after claiming. There are millions of Americans, um, uh, almost all white, almost all Republicans, who somehow need to be deprogrammed there it, it, it's as if they don't they they they're members of a cult the trumpist cult uh and and we have to be deprogrammed there has to be consequences uh and then once you get those consequences i think then people have to take a second look at their actions and they have to be much more uh afraid i think a lot of people are going to have to be deprogrammed Tory Bullock is challenging the city and the mayor to take down this statue near Park Plaza. It's called the Freedmen's Monument. It's a replica of the original in Washington, D.C., with President Lincoln standing over a freed slave. The inscription on its base reads, a race set free, but interpretations of the artwork varies. More statue controversy comes following this week's vandalism of the Christopher Columbus statue in the city's north end. Abe Lincoln has overlooked Bascom Hill for more than 100 years. The statue worn from grads climbing up to get a picture. But what he symbolizes for marginalized students isn't land grant universities or even emancipating slaves. He was also very publicly anti-black. Um, just because he was anti-slavery doesn't mean he was pro-black. Um, A real-life political drama in Tinseltown. Oh, imagine. <laughs> According to a new report, many Hollywood conservatives, uh, me being one, are not shelling out for Donald Trump, fearing backlash over being outed as Trump supporters. The head of a Hollywood public relations firm telling The Wrap, quote, if you're climbing that studio ladder or haven't become a big star yet, you're probably not going to be very hesitant to support Trump. These people are afraid because their bosses likely 
are very likely Hillary Clinton supporters.